my name is Mario Galeano. I am a, um, a Colombian musician and I was born in Colombia's capital, Bogota. Well, I used to listen to a lot of uh, music that my mom used to play at home. She was always uh, with a lot of records and a lot of tapes uh, in her house, playing music, lots of parties. So we, we grew up around a lot of uh, music like uh, tango, bolero, uh, cumbia, and also Cuban music, and um, Argentinian music, Chilean, in general, a whole bunch of music coming from different corners of Latin America. Well, I actually started playing um, classical guitar when I was like 14, 15. And maybe when I was around like 16 or 17, I started to, to try to arrange and compose little pieces that were just like, uh, yeah, little, uh, not like whole complete songs, but uh, some things I already uh, noticed that were like my creation. So I would say it, uh, it was around this like, yeah, 16, 17 year old. Well, composition came uh, like on the more like strict sense of the word after I went to study music in the conservatory in Bogota. Um, and then I realized uh, about uh, like all the different techniques and, and approaches and academical, let's say, uh, uh, insights into what it took to compose. So maybe when I was in third, fourth semester of um, conservatory, I started to get in touch more with uh, the teachers and, and well, taking composition lessons and started to get more involved into this aspect of music making. This uh, home experience of being surrounded by a lot of music, especially my mom, she's a big time music head, so she was always uh, playing records, playing cassettes, playing tapes. And then also, I have to say, uh, I, I got involved with a group of friends that we were all musicians. And I think this like side of uh, the, the influences that are coming from my house and then the experiences that are coming from outside my house, uh, they both kind of came together and, and built my, my interest in, in, in being a musician. I do remember a lot uh, the first time I heard Kronos. This was around uh, 2000, 2001. Uh, I went to study in the Netherlands for a few years. And there, there used to be a um, CD in the library of the school, uh, the Different Trains CD, which I heard a lot. And of course, I was um, also starting to get interested in, in Steve Reich's music. And then I found this recording that Kronos did with him, so this was the first uh, time I heard about it. And also around that time, uh, I have a Mexican friend, uh, Felipe Perez, which got a commission from Kronos. So then I, I got more like a bigger picture of what Kronos uh, had been doing. Well, I think uh, Kronos got interested in, in my work because I, I have been for the last 15, 20 years really into uh, trying to find new ways of expression around Latin music and especially cumbia, which is a style uh, born in Colombia, but which spread very uh, fast through like basically all the continent. You can find cumbia from Argentina all the way to the United States. So this approach of being really into the essence of the style and uh, uh, after writing a piece uh, for Kronos, which was uh, premiered here in, in Teatro Colón uh, in Bogotá. Uh, I think they saw what, uh, what was my, my search and uh, luckily I was invited to, to participate. Well, in this case, I think for me, uh, the string quartet was more a vehicle of showing uh, our local styles in music and these local languages. I mean, of course, at the end, it's, it's a piece that you write uh, by, by yourself and through your creative process. But, but in my case, uh, there's a lot of um, research that went around uh, finding the essence of what cumbia uh, represents and which is this meeting point of three different uh, um, 
people that came together in, in, in Colombia and Latin America, and particularly, well, in the Colombian country, um, the Native American influence, the European influence, and the black influence. So I think for me it has to do more, how, how can I show this history through the string quartet? I, I guess it would be the most important thing for me. It's a vehicle of expressing the, um, that, that history also. Well, I, I'd like to, to, to show younger musicians that it's really important to continue search of, of your local traditions and your local sounds, you know, like nowadays in this globalized world where the easiest thing is to turn on the television or to turn on the radio or uh, see like what's the latest things coming on the internet. I think it's, it's much more powerful when you try to look into your uh, surroundings, right? And try to find uh, what are those special flavors that you cannot find in, in, in other styles of music or in, in other um, cultural aspects of society. So I think that, that uh, I, I would like people to see that uh, it's important to try to bring your local um, world of arts and sounds into a contemporary setting and feel uh, the great uh, potential that it has to, I mean, take this language to new places. So if this is something that the, the piece can, can show younger musicians, uh, that there's such a wide and huge amount of styles around the world that each has its own way of breathing and living, I think that's, that's the best to have like a bigger and broader spectrum. Well, for me, uh, when I start to work, um, I basically start playing around with instruments, playing around with the keyboards, uh, maybe taking up the bass, which is my main instrument, or an, a guitar, and starting playing around, and maybe after a week of doing so, then you reach a point where you think you have a, a, a special idea that it's worth developing, and it's worth like really uh, completing its, uh, its body and its uh, shape. So for me, it has to do with finding that spot where you really say, okay, I think this is where I can start and then slowly build the bricks around it and uh, complete the best way possible that, that musical um, body of work. Well, besides uh, composing, I am a well, full-time musician playing with my bands. I have three different projects. Frente Cumbiero, Los Piranhas and Onda Tropica are the three projects I, I work with. These bands are continuously uh, traveling around the, the world, um, uh, playing now in, in all five continents. And uh, as well, I'm uh, very interested in, in research. Uh, for example, one of these uh, has to do with the relationship with vinyl records and Colombian vinyl records. So for me, it's very important to, to research what happened in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, learn about how music was recorded here, what kind of instruments, what kind of techniques they use in the studio, and try to find this essence of, uh, well, Colombian popular music and Latin music in general. And also even uh, teaching music in general is like a um, full-time uh, world around music. Well, I would send uh, all uh, young players of these uh, songs and in general um, all the 50 for the Future compositions. I would uh, tell them to try to um, look further into the local flavors and local sounds of music in your surroundings. You know, like now again talking about these um, mainstream flows of information that are coming from, from the States or Europe. Sometimes people in um, Latin America, in Africa, in Asia, and even in Europe start to uh, lose uh, sight of what's going on around them or what happened uh, in your town 20 years ago or 30 years ago or 50 years ago. So for me, I think it's always important to, to tell um, new musicians, hey, try to look into your roots or your surroundings, try to come up with new ideas in, in, relationship, of, uh, in relationship to, well, the, the main stream flow of, of information. So I think for me that would be the message, like try to connect with your surrounding, with your roots. 
Sí, pues el mensaje para los jóvenes que están eh, acercándose a esta pieza es pues eh, ponerlos en una posición en la que puedan dimensionar un poco eh, la música que se hace en esta esquina del mundo, eh, en Colombia, al centro del continente americano, y ver detrás de la música todos los elementos como multiétnicos o diferentes pueblos que se juntaron en este, en este sitio, ¿no? que digamos sería el aporte eh, de la música negra, el aporte de, de la música europea, el aporte de la música indígena, ese mestizaje, ese encuentro tan particular de, de, de sonidos, de instrumentos, de melodías, de ritmos, creo que es algo interesante para eh, que el músico cuando esté interpretando esta canción tenga esa... esa curiosidad de tratar de buscar de dónde viene una cosa, de dónde viene la otra y pues de nuevo como enfatizar el, el, el tema de la importancia de salirse un poco de, pues de, de, de lo que esta cultura globalizada nos trae que siempre nos está principalmente mostrando eh, música y cultura de Europa y de Estados Unidos y darle la importancia que merece ver en cada esquinita del mundo qué es lo que se cocina.